Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in the Bruderkrieg in which we're playing as the Prussian Volksreich led by everyone's favorite Hermann, a certain Goring, but the Berlin Rally. Goring shall be addressing the people of Berlin on the situation in Prussia in addition to government and military officials. Tens of thousands are expected to flock to the Reichstag to watch the glorious Reichsmarshal speak. Um, I think I've read this one before. Um, if you want to read this, please go right ahead. And for this campaign, we're just going to go with Goring, so if you want to read this, please go right ahead. Under the pomp, Division Zerk. Issue the militias. The Shabab Tyler and the party's militia has been acting with increasing radicalism and disrespect. The reactionary Freikorps, who helped crush a revolution, are demanding the dissolution of the SA. Both might prove a threat to a power, but, and, but who should we support? Mein Reichsmarschall. I guess in the meantime, I'm going to agree this one too. The Reichsia capabilities. The Reichsia should maintain, mainly focus on land, technology, capacity, and capability. Those three ideas are what follows or allows our military to trump over all others in the end. Which I'll probably go ahead and do later. But we get the event containing the militia. So as we're currently building up some more cities. Of course we're Prussia, so we have some demilitarized zones. Actually, I forgot to do this too. I forgot to... Oh. They're doing stuff down there, huh? Do we really want to get involved? Honestly, not really. Oh, here's the new sea. You guys are here. Oh, we can join wars, I guess. Oh, we can join wars. That's our stability, though. They won't let us join the wars. Okay, whatever. And reintegrate the Fry Corps. Negotiate with Rum. Gain five essay influence. Also, what do we have for decisions? End war to end all wars. We've united Germany, which I've played this before. I played this Prussia before, but I, I played as a uh, Vilma II, Absolutist Prussia, so that was fun. I enjoyed it quite a bit, actually. And Bismarck's Broken Dream. We have Clash of the Militias, which is not good. And continue the militias. Uh, Revolution of Treason, which is bad. Uh, Mackinson's army reforms, which is pretty good. And then we have this one, too. Hmm. We should fulfill the National Revolution. I forget which way I did. Retire reactionary officers. Nation, the nation at arms. I think I went this way last time. Prussian professionalism. Ensure army loyalty. Reintegrate them. I don't remember which one I did. So, the Fry Corps is a reactionary nationalist organization. So, it is what it is. And the SA is a dude. Just, oh. This view has made them increasingly rowdy, rest patients, and worse, disloyal to the Reichsmarshal of the SA. So, we don't want him. He's too radical, we can't anger the Wehrmacht. Um, to unlock von Mackensen and von Schlecker, select this option. The Frank Guard traders, we must fulfill the National Revolution. I don't want to do that one. Part of the SA shall spread throughout Prussia. Ooh, which one do we want to do? After the death of political uh, supporters in Operation Hummingbird. Alright. Hmm. S.A. and what not. Well, I like Marshall's stuff. Person's brown shirts. We need to crush them. We need to crush Spartacus. Jesus on the front lines. That sounds awesome. That sounds really, really, really awesome, actually. Because right now, we are considered national syndicals. And we're pretty radical, I'd say. We're pretty darn radical. So, Fry Corps traders, we must fulfill the national revolution. Okay. Negotiate the room. Ernst Röhm may be a frothing radical, but he's no fool. With our crushing of reactionaries, we can get his fealty to Goring in exchange for some of his reforms to finish a national revolution. Retire reactionary officers. <coughs> the reactionary officers of the Hay and Freikorps, especially von Mackensen, need to go. While the work is admirable, we will convince them, or at least some, to retire, or we will retire them ourselves. This, this one, we get more recovery rate, more war support, less damage to garrisons, Kaiser Kral's speech. We shall see what Kaiser Kral will be up to. Um, commissions to SA. If the latter chosen militia obtain too much power, they might launch an internal coup against Goring. Uh, we need to be making our supporters' influence 50% greater than the other side. Assisting them. Fari core power decreased. Workplace reforms. Lowers construction speed. SA power is increased. Commissions to the SA. When removed, we get manpower. That seems like the best one to do. Helping, f helping secret Fari core plots. Provide militia weapons to them. Infiltrate reactionary regiments. Well, if we have to. Actually, do we get any more political power here at all? I like PP. Pee -pee. Well, don't take that out of context. I'm sure someone will. But that's okay. Uh, workplace reforms, fine. Whatever. If we have to. 25, 15, that's fine. That's not really much here. I mean, I like this one too. Get more weekly stability, which is pretty decent, I'd say. Pretty darn good. We're training more ships. Ooh, more ships. Ooh, they're subs. Yes, thank you. Uh, with you. With you. So this way, whenever we do use them, 
for subbing and rating. God, these subs suck. Not gonna lie. Commissions to the SA. Hey, more manpower sounds good to me. Thirty and ten. We don't want to get too high, like we said earlier. But you know what? We'll see what we, where we get. Thirty-five. A normal twenty combo with divisions. Then we have these three. Operation Emancipation. Twenty uh, other combo with divisions, which is fine. Go over there. All right, Le Bay Van Klug. No, Model. Yes. Going to just line up on the board with these guys. I mean, we'll probably take out Hanover first, like we did when I played this can type of campaign before. But Manstein Van Buck. As well as... Blaskovitz. Nice. We're going to take some, a little more time. They have negative five, which is not bad. Okay, why not? That should be good enough, so let's go and go and do this as well. I like CR capabilities. So who do we have left? We have paratroopers. Fliga division. Paratroopers, I just don't ever use them. I'm not going to erase them, but like, they're not great. Napoleon is the sixth new constitution. I don't mind cavalry, but I want tanks. So honestly, all of you guys, just become this division. There you go. I want to use tanks in this campaign. We'll see where we end up. We need more fuel as well. Um, shoots. Good job, shoots. Got to assault there eventually, maybe. We will see. And... Set up 50. Yep, and they are correct. Nice. Is their speed? Very good. Very, 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 very good. We need a lot of millies for what we want to do here. Oh, we do have cast and tactical bombs over there, too. Siana marches, huh? We only need some naval bombers as well. Nice. Anything else over here? No. Question. The great question of the day must be decided by blood and iron. From a lot of in Bismarck, of course. And retire the action officers, which only takes 14 days, which is a great thing. Great, 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 great. Ah, and we have a couple of green tea here to keep us nice and energized. The nation at arms. With the support or superior re reactionaries disposed of, we can fulfill Rome's ideal of a Spartan society, where every man is a warrior for Germany, every child a replacement, every woman a warrior factory. I like this. Get more retrenchment speed, which doesn't mean very much. Damage garrisons go down, which is not bad. And then military factory construction speed, not bad. Prog massacre, nice. The more powerful militia may try to seize control. Uh oh. Well, we're 45 and negative 10, so I mean, that's not bad, right? And consolidating power. With this victory, the Reich's Marshal should destroy any opposition from the wretched Spartus, Spartacus Bund. But look at the Deutschland. More national cynicalism, which we love. Stability. I have quite a bit more political power, too. Ideal. Quite the ideal for us, and we're about to build another thing, but as it's only the middle of May. Ah, Admiral Graf Spe. Yes, please. Are you guys not training too? You're all trained, man. We didn't care about having fuel. Give me fuel, Russia. Even though we might need to invade the UK someday, we'll see. Ah, that's a primacy. Very good. So good. Grouping, if anything, I do want armor. Like I said, I'll, I'll definitely get on Von Bach and probably Von Klug. Ooh, 50% more artillery attacks. Very nice. Ah, looking pretty good. Italian Unitary State. Completed the National Revolution. And Strom was behind the curtain. His most old men gathered, uh, were, were gathered with him, and the SA, 1st Protection Battalion, was dispersed throughout the Beer Hall. They all expected more of the old scheiss. To be Lord of the Reichsmarsch, or Lord and Savior, Rome snorted. All that fat dude was good for was a figurehead. And with von Mackensen and his old Prussian BSers out of the way, it wasn't good for anything. He was weak, and if Rome believed in anything, it was that the strong survived, the weak perish. He came out in the non-coms. Oh, they were called Hauptschaffirer, but that's what they were called. Got all his rowdy boys to quiet down. Not an easy task, but he managed. Fellow soldiers, Rome began. Brave sons of Germany, and our nation's under threat. So the men looked at each other nervously, wondering where this was headed. Rome would soon make it clear. Reich's Marshal Goring has failed the Volk and the Reich. He won't take the measures necessary for Germany's final triumph. He won't complete the National Revolution. More spring good. It is the duty of all Germans to resist an ineffective rule of Goring. He is weakened. Us strong men must beat him down, or all will be lost. Will you follow me? The cheers of the ascent was all Rome needed. The SA storm. Our troops stormed the Reichstag and Goring is killed while trying to escape. The Goring spies took him off and a failing of Wehrmacht troops hold back the traitors. I do want to do this one too. Reich's Marshal's Prussia. Uh, Rex Marshal Goring uh, has kept a hold of Prussia, saving up its glory from dangerous revolutionaries and reactionary officers. Heil Preussen. Heil, Heil, Heil. Heil Safari, but Heil, Heil, Heil. When in doubt, what do we do? We Heil. What do you do when you go to school? You Heil. When you go take a test, you Heil? Maybe not. 
Actually, which way is uh, these guys going? Because they can go different ways in Russia, too. Democracy. Kerensky, eh? I'm so sorry for your loss. But democracy is sometimes not fun. Sometimes it can be. But still. Krap. Siemens. Nice. We definitely want to get some of these guys to 20%. is pretty darn decent, though. The Red Mistress back at home. An interesting piece of news was passed by Goring's desk this morning, making the usually jovial. Oh, look at this. Uh, figure drop is after a concerned moment. The Red Queen of the Spots has been a spot in one of the more prolific working class quarters of Berlin. The fledgling state security apparatus had assumed the nuisance, this nuisance, to have been in the Netherlands for a self imposed exile. Was Luxembourg involved in a workers' rally? Did she begin her usual play? Goring stared down the adjutant by the door, forcing a small instinctual recoil on the man. No, sir, she was spotted, being brought into what was assumed was a safe house. By the time he had acted on the informant step, she and her spores had already fled. Goring turned in his chair thoughtfully, looking out at the window in a daze. With a flick of the wrist, 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 he dismissed the adjutant, biting his lip so, oh, so profusely it began to heavily bleed. A worrying sign. Hungary asked for help against Austria. The Hungarians are in revolt. They've asked for some support against the Austrians. Why die for Budapest? Okay. I like your hats. Only five divisions, though. Well, there you go. We ain't got a lot of stuff, but we'll give you what we got. So how many planes can we actually send? 104, that ain't much. It's probably about 100 fighters or so. Oh god, yeah, they got a lot of planes. But who won here? Nikolai Belogorov. Good god, they got a lot of planes. Oh, we have no fuel, too. Um, construction's not bad. Get some more... I guess resource extraction. Uh, uh, logistics. Go high. Go high. This can go low. For now. I almost never click those buttons, but whatever. Uh, the bulk issue. The Great Prussian Industrial Plan. While Prussia is a great po industrial power for its sides, has nothing compared to the hegemonies of France and Britain. We must rapidly expand our industry to compete with them. Let me get rid of the Spartacus. I think I did this one last time. Jesus on the front lines. Hand out church benefits. I think I went this way. I can't remember. Pressure to the heavens? Readmit to bulkish leaders. Move minor upside in the state. It's not bad. Reappoint bulkish leaders. Readmit, reappoint. May the gods be with us. Oh. Huh. Ah! Squail Spartacus. Yeah. Influence. Revolutionary plot. Prevent arms from reaching the Spartacus. Increase progress by 10%. Ever since Glorious Reich's monster slaves from the far left Spartacus movement in 1930, they've been a painful thorn in our side. As a socialist plot looms on the horizon, we must take power extreme measures to make sure the radicals cannot seize power once again. So if that's the case, let's go and do this as well. I did this last time, I think, as well. So, VPs. All around. And we'll take and give where we need to. There you go. Nice. Do that one too. Potent, ban potentially socialist gatherings. More political power, yes. And expand anti socialist publications, yes. Intercepted plans for a Spartacus revolt. All right. Recently, some of our spies within Spartacus has elite plans of uh, riding in the major cities, shutting down industry and causing chaos. We must put a stop to these before it can happen by stationing troops in the regions they plan to ride in. Let's hurry our soldiers. Ah. And Ostpreisen. See? Alright, so you guys are down here. You got no general. But you're going to take Henrici over here. Good guy. Do that. Do the best you can. Don't die too much. Should we put you under field marshal? Well, uh, room, I guess, if we have to. Bolivian Revolution. Very nice, very nice. These guys are really going to be killing themselves completely. And utterly. I love it! Appeal to the people for war. Get some more uh, stability. The East Prussia over here, right? There you go. Gonna play Spartacus someday too. That sounds like fun. Yeah, yeah, but someday. These guys look very weak. Incredibly weak. Why are they so weak? Probably they have no guns. Bigger map was not an issue, but still.
It's very dangerous to play a game like this when they force defense. Oh boy. Nice. Um, scavenger. Yeah, let's go scavenger for now. Sounds good to me. After this one, the Volkish issue. The scene of Black Smash, having survived the attempted leftist coup, must now deal with the enemies of the new order. The socialists, of course, but also the purged Volkish. Occultists who still command large amounts of power despite the purging's unternamen unter unter colibri. We must deal with the threats of Germany. Uh, form the Prussische Arbeitsfront. I want more factories as fast as possible. Continuing all talking. Yeah, I definitely want to go. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, that's six. But you get three over here immediately. Oh. Oh, you get a research slot over here, though. We've got a race on the side. Form the Prussische Arbeitsfront. The Prussian Workers Front and a stately reunion will ensure prosperity for all patriotic Prussian citizens. But really, it will give a facade of workers' rights while subordinating them to the state. A perfect arrangement, at least for us. Perfection. They're looking very weak in some of these divisions, in some of these areas, not divisions, but areas, you know. Yeah, they here. Maybe we cut off some, oh, maybe, maybe supply, but they got some trains up there too, so we'll see. All right. Anything else around here? Appeal to the people for war, which would not be bad either. Save our political power for some of this stuff, though. A little bit of army XP, a little naval XP. Artillery's not bad. Gives a few more guns, though. Still attacking us, not bad. War on the cultism. Since the Reich's Council of Bismarck and Volkish coalition overthrew the monarchy, the cult cultist Nordicist group was running the country. They promised the great Germany to restore the glory we had during the fall of the Roman Empire, together with the descendants of Rome. We fought the traitors to reclaim Germany, but they failed us. We were betrayed by our allies, but also betrayed by the Volkish, who lacked the will to see the deed done. Nevertheless, Goring's followers allowed the Volkish to persist, and supported them when Luxembourg's criminal reds tried to run Germany into the ground. But after the reds were broken, the Volkish were our liability to Germany. Their leaders were granted the dignity of being shot, their organizations broken in exile. The Volkish mostly seemed to have good intentions, even if they lacked the ability to fight in the best way for Germany, being overly focused on pagan pursuits that were distracted from unification. We will likely be able to reconcile with most of them, invite them back to Germany, and put them to work energizing the nation, though they will have to be watched, uh, of course. But they are a threat with significant popular following and reactionary elements among the Wehrmacht and Freikorps core despise them. An alternative answer, therefore, is along the Protestant Church, who the Volkish suppressed, a role subordinate to the state and German life. The values of discipline and honesty may be more natural to many Germans than the Nordicist beliefs of the Volkish. Which sh faction shall we uh, back? Um, I'm gonna watch them. As much as I want to outlaw, uh, outlaw occultism, I think it was this way last time with uh, Jesus on the front lines, like I said earlier. So revoke church autonomy. Yeah, this one I definitely went this one last time. But I want to get through here first. National socialist work policies. Although the left and right despise each other, they're both ready to agree on labor policy. Let's ensure prosperity for every German glory to the state. Break up them strikers. Break them up. We lose a little bit of stability? No. Yes. Insert the plans. All right. Vorpommern. So, one, two, three. Cool. Niederschlesien. There you go, too. Looking pretty dangerous here. Not gonna lie. Run a retreat. That's fine with us for now. This is to its absolutism, eh? Fine, go and get some more of that, too. Why not? Oh, now we can break up strikers? Come on. Nice. Let's go and get this one first, and then we'll do that stuff. Crushing them is 10%. Not bad. And with this, 1.75 every single day. Leon de Graff forms a uh, Belgian government. Not bad. Bruh. I can't cancel it yet. God dang it. We can do that one, though. I love national socialist work policies. Uh, construction speed? Oh. Oh, yeah. In order to bring industrialization to the final levels in our country, we'll continue the industrialization program in our country unabated. By making investments in our country, we'll increase the number of factories to the highest levels. Absolutely. 
Nice job, guy. Oh, shnikes. Yep, you can hold. Go train. Talk about the books in Mineshaft, too. We must create a national people's community that will stand for Prussian values in the Glorious Strikes module. Pretty much. Make sure the Navy's got enough. Which they don't, but whatever. Uh, execute Liebneck. Nice. Expand anti social publications. Yeah, I'll do that one next, too. Right now. Not bad. A lot of vanguard socialists, though. Very random, it seems to be. There you go. 50% is pretty decent so far. Upset of the Vienna Cup, you remember that? Please go right ahead. Half the English. President Federation's gone. Do we need 100% here? We might need 100% here. I could be wrong, but I think we do need 100%. Not bad. Implement Strasserism. Gregor Strasser, a party councillor and leader of the leftist pro SA faction of the party, has an economic plan focused on iron work to control the economy and militarization. We should implement this at once. Pre war buildup. By supporting the military industry in our country, we have created a stronger army. By making new conquests with his army, we will raise our country to the highest levels in dimension. Continuing autarky. Oh. Our economy shall run on the principles of autarky, completely self sufficient from the global economy. We shall produce all the necessary resources for the, our might military on Russian soil. Boost coal production. Coal is integral for ensuring that our trains arrive on time and our armored trucks are worthy in battle. We must expand mining operations to start the production of our synthetic fire refineries. Improve rubber manufacturing. The production economy moves on rubber, which provides wheels and other goods to make the army mobile and assembly lines efficient. We shall take steps to farm more rubber, both naturally and artificially. Subsidize Volkswagen. Volkswagen, the people's car, looks to provide more automobiles for the civilians and high-tech level vehicles for military. To bolster transportation numbers across Prussia, we will fund their efforts, of course, in the Bundesautobahn uh, highway system. The Bundesautobahn will keep Prussia's cities connected and greatly improve travel times for both civilian and military. We must work to complete this grand infrastructure project and the Blade Forged. Our economy will be geared solely towards reunification and revenge. Surely, for surely, citizens of Germany have no other need than unity and glory. Alles Deutsche? Goring kommt. The crushing of the Spartacists. Goring reclined in his chair. After an exhausting day dealing with Austrian dignitaries protesting his troop buildups, he needed some rest. He smiled. Those cheaters won't know what's coming for him. Suddenly he heard a knock. Goring, in a way, prepared to chew the entre entree out. Until he saw, or entree, he saw his Marshal Heinz Guderian. I assume you have a reason for your entry. If he didn't, Goring wouldn't be happy regardless of his position. Guderian smiled. It is the first time I've ever seen the old dude smile. Maybe when he was talking about that Arn Kaiser. Like Small Troy, I wanted to inform you that the last known Spartacists have been defeated. The Communists threatened Prussia no more. He did every reason the best Goring could think of. Great, we must celebrate. A toast to the Communist killers. A toast, Guderian replied. A victory at last. Ah, beautiful. Now we can actually make a split apart. Also, I did send divisions down here because I was asked to. And Democratic Socialists. I mean, these guys, National Populists, are the closest thing we have to, like, to us. You know, we're just a bunch of, uh, National syndicalists here, so. And yeah, the Blade Forged. Followed up with the Rex Marshals Prussia, and then followed up with the Code Goringin. When Napoleon the first conquered Europe, he enforced the Code of Law through his realms to stop the descent. We may have hated him, but there's no denying his genius. We shall. Make our own law code, and but it should be governed all Europe and Sumeria hegemony for a thousand years. Yeah, sounds unfamiliar. Never heard of something like that before. Get back down here so they can defend over a river. There you go. Just defend. Um, yeah, go in there. See what happens. You do that? Maybe? Yeah? No? Yeah? Hmm? So we do have tanks. Looks like Russian tanks, but whatever. Yeah, we're in a wars. Oh, we'll start working in more military guys here, too. Nice. Doing a pretty decent job so far. Of course, I would have liked to send tanks, but whatever. Faction management. Volk is the Reich, Italian unitary, unitary state. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Nice, good stuff, guys, good stuff. Franco, British, non aggression treaty. Also, if I remember correctly, United Kingdom is led by Albert I. Oh, I that's supposed to be Mosley, but whatever. Broken Crown Jewel, huh? That sucks to be you. They made ready for war. Look at where we were in 1931. 
In the throes of socialist revolution, with a weak Volkish pursuing occultist fan fantasies, rather than the strength of arms, even the reactionaries could see what, uh, that we were the better choice in 1931. Our economy was in collapse. Now it booms. Every German worker is happy. For those who are un unhappy are not Germans. Every German worker is productive. The ones who failed are dead. The Untermensch, under the boot, produce armaments. Soon we'll have many more of them. The economy serves the state and the army. This has been the Prussian ethos, but it soon will be the German ethos. Our enemies think themselves prepared. How could such a great empire as Austria, they think in their arrogance, fall to such a weak nation as tiny as Prussia? They fail to see, <clears throat> and we shall only lighten them on the battlefield. Every German fights or labors for the nation. With such united spirit backed by steel, how can we not prevail? Our army and state, fueled by that glorious economy, shall withstand anything. Let Europe come, they say that they are ready for war, and we shall show them war. Now it shall stop the Prussian war machine. Let me do this one, yes. Yes, please. Reappoint these guys. Um, I think it'd be best if we did this one. Readmit the Volkish leaders. I want to wait to do this one just because uniform Germany to do that, anyways. The German National Revolution. How Deutschland, all Prussians order the Reichsmarschall, dream of a day when Germany is free from foreigners. We shall destroy the Untermensch and break the shackles they've imposed on the Vaterland. I'll say how to you too. I'll blur the petty kingdoms. Our pr petty uh, puny Thuringians. The Protestant Church of Sparsha has been a source of authority separate from us for too long. Despite protests from the army, <clears throat> this has to be done to submit authority and reconcile the Volkish. Good god, they love attacking. If you're attacking to win that right there, you can do really well. Uh, actually, Land Doctor Goss, Herman Hoff would be pretty good for that one. Oh, what else do we have down here? We this? We got a work on me too, that'd be pretty good. Yeah, I might just go straight to work on me, actually. Nice. Wrath of the Germans, we are ready. The traders in our Prussian lands are destroyed. We need to not fear internal descent. That ancient destroyer of empires. The nation and the army are both prepared for war where the Reichsmarschall points. Our targets right now are threefold. The petty crowns of Germany, propped up by Austria and France in a desperate bid to deny the glory of the German people, the Austrians. Our traitors' brothers, who deny their heritage and spit on German greatness, and the French, the former Germans who have done nothing but weaken and crush the German spirit. All of them will receive the reckoning, and they sow the wind, and they shall reap the whirlwind. With Germany fully united, uh, the time has come. Soldiers to the front, leaders to the staff office, and workers to the factories. Uh, that, that is the slogan of victory. See how? I'll blur the petty Thuringians. The petty Thuringians are a nuisance. Uh, our nuisance, but there are nuisances. A quick reoccupation with the troops should sweep them aside. Try to help these guys out as much as we can. Yeah, probably getting more divisions would be good. Go to war economy, probably. Nice. There you go. These guys are spreading through here, which is not good, but we're going to kill all these the Serbs. So we can take out these two divisions as well. Ah, Taika, mine in Bakker. 37, good. Force rate, more coordination is not bad. More arty spuff, spuff, stuff. Yes. Oh, you know what? Get some anti-tank as well. Here, those two. Um, actually, we could wait. Wait first. If you're fine, go and grab that anyways. Belgrade's gonna be a tough on a crack. That's alright. There's Montenegro. I'm gonna be fighting just two. Only one division there, right? Eh? Uh, we don't have any uh, planes that can go there. Well, of course they would do that. Should be able to get this one this time. There you go. Nice. Looking a little weak. 
Don't let him move. We got him. These guys are going to be pain in the butt. Send him back over the river. He was actually winner? Yeah, maybe. Up next, we get Herman Hoff. Netting of Brazil. Not that ahead of time, might as well do that anyways. Just gonna hang out for now, let him attack us repeatedly. The guy's just not in any shape to really keep attacking. Over on Saxony. Do that too, anyways. 24 days, 21 days. And over on Saxony. Saxony was always meant to be German. The very core of Otto the Great's empire will not suffer its independence any longer. Good. As we should not. Not bad. So far, at least for now. After January 1st, give us a few days, and then we'll have an auto saving, and then we can do it. Nice. Oh, and next, Hanover. Hanover, oppressed by Britain for so long, cries out to us for liberation. We'll grant them that and avenge the humiliations of 1866. Uh, that's just a little bit of army XP. Is it worth it? Eh, we'll see. Yeah, I might actually be able to take that now, too. Actually, we have planes we can send down here, too, anyways. Nice. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Oh, well, tip so much for these guys. Go in, boys, go in. Uh, I guess we'll do uh, readmit Volkish leaders. Well, all Volkish leaders return to Germany and resume their part of the membership, but a close eye will be kept on them. I guess there's a, there's a slight chance that Austria will say, yeah, no, I'll go to war with us, but may God be with us. Um, Nordicism was already aligned so much with our ideology, it only makes sense to extend it to religion and military education during this time of fire and conflict. Our soldiers will learn to honor the wisdom of Odin, the power of Thor, and the sacrifice of Tyre, and the Germany will be stronger for it. Leipzig is ours, nice. Chemnitz? Chemnitz. Oh, they're doing force defense. Ooh. I'm not sure if that was a good idea. That's giving us a lot of army XP, and I love it, but still. You guys come over here. Then hand over, boys. Nah, nah, same thing, basically. Uh... No, they're definitely on the offensive now. Happy 1938, everybody. Let's get some infantry von Buck next. Annex Hanover as well. There you are. So good. Uh, Bismarck's plan? Yes, yes. Esteemed Kais, Councillor Bismarck, for all his faults, did try to unite Germany under authoritarianism. We will fulfill his dream by performing the next North German Confederation. As we should. 
I want a bomb block, but I want more uh, st a bit of power too, or uh, stability. I mean, a lot of stuff is useful. Don't get me wrong; it's all very, 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 very useful. Yeah, let the infantry lead. They're tiring themselves out, which is great for us. <sighs> Stop attacking, guys! Please, don't be dumb. I might actually be able to win there, maybe. Hamburg Conference, the UK. Uh, and the Kingdom of Hanover have been in a royal union due to its close ties to their houses. This, of course, presents a problem as we must liberate the corporate German lands of Hanover without provoking an aggressive British response. One solution to this would be the Hamburg Conference, where we could take or make minor concessions to the British in exchange for the much more viable Hanover. Although the king will disprove of the move, we can likely convince Westminster to depart from Hanover due to their inner political division and Britain's deadly imperial instability. Send Westminster an offer, and they approve. Today, Westminster affirmed the agreements of the Hamburg Conference, accepting their concessions while removing any lasting support for Hanover. We're not free to invade without any British military backlash. Excellent. Capacity, capability, technology. Research slot. I like that one a lot. Technology. The weapons and technology of our forces play a big role in who wins a battle seen multiple times in the past, so we must remain ahead of our rivals technologically. They've taken long enough? Oh. And not wishing to become entangled in a war with the Prussians, the Westminster has called for the AEF to withdraw from the Kingdom of Hanover to return home, after which the Prussians will be free to invade then. Making threatening noises. If we attack Hanover before the AEF withdraws, it will be war with Britain. Mm, nah. They've taken long enough. 25 days. We can wait. That's no problem with us. Mountain gear. German armor. Tank upgrades. Um, I think we went more inclusive training probably last time. Uh, so if you're going to do this, please go ahead. We're going to go with uh, German armor anyways. The French and British developed vehicles coated in armored guns and used tracks to move and called tanks. We've also developed on the concept. We've never invested too much into them. The German, North German plane. Uh, being perfect for the concept, it's time we uh, probably invest into tanks. Good lord, they love att attacking. I love it when they attack us like crazy. I love it. We still need way more anti-air and support equipment. Chinese Confederacy. You say Confederacy, and I get it really interested. Got plenty of guns, though. Goodness gracious. Tons of guns. You go in here. You can do it. Tank upgrade. The power of our tanks are already known throughout Europe, but there's room to improve. Really? They know of our tanks? Sadly, so we do not have the resources for expanding our mountain forces as well. Uh, better engines. Go mediums. There we go there. I want to get at least a couple more tiles done taken first before we do anything else. And we got that one. Good. And then what? Now they're still attacking like crazy. Ah. Bumbach. Even more attack and defense. Good. I'll pull the line for now. And then German armor. Take upgrades, as we will, of course, our, we ourselves will invade. There you go. Go ahead, have fun. Liberation of Hanover is upon us. Beautiful. We got plenty of guns, even more anti air, whatever. Oh, actually, you might want to stop doing that for now. Might save us a little bit on fuel as well. Oh! Russia's gone to war as well. Alright, well, whatever. And Proitius is a genius. Proitius has made leaps and bounds technologically. Perhaps it is time for us to put some of your research techniques into scientists and put more research into other forms of combat. Nice. They annex Bukovina, huh? 4,000 versus 43,000. Not bad. Prepare the people for war be good to give more stability or more I mean worse what I mean. The coup in Romania succeeds, eh? Beautiful.
beautiful. And we're back. Thank you, thank you. Um, 38. Just in case you never know. Appeal to the people for war would not be bad. What do you have for this guy? Offense. Maneuver. I mean, Modell be the, be, has got to be the dude. Speed's okay. But I want Von Klug as well. The Legion of Romania seeks to join a coalition. Uh, as the current upheavals in uh, international politics continue to uh, continue to reverberate throughout the world, the Romanians have deemed this to be the greatest chance to survive in these tumultuous times. They therefore request to be admitted to our alliance so we may weather the coming storm together. And whether we shall. It's the third time we've been deployed to Serbia, and said nothing's really changed. What are you doing here? Building roads, not bad. Cast Castel. Start working on millions and civvies, because it's already 38, mid 38, so we really need to bump up our production of stuff. Tiller's not bad. I mean, this is the infantry division we're using. They got anti tank, or anti air, I should say. So, in combat, it's not bad, too. Some recon, maybe, for now. It's fine. I like recon. Yeah, don't worry about attacking for now. Unless they're attacking too. Then you might be able to do something, maybe. I love artillery. Capability. Our land force must be capable of winning a battle, otherwise there's no point in trying to win. Bismarck's plans. Wow, 63 days. That's a long time. On the Stahl Pact. The Russians assisted us during the first Europa Krieg and were the key to gaining land against the Austrians. We must put aside our differences and secure the support of the Great Bear. On to mention tyrants. Around us loom those who would shackle Germany, Ger Britain, France, and Russia, and of course Austria. The last for one we must face first and prepare for the last Bruder Krieg. Legacy to Tilsit. The Bonaparte's are the enemy of the Free Germany, afraid. They humiliated us in 1807, stripping us of our land and our dignity. We must have our revenge or burn Paris to the ground. Um, we need to form Germany first, which is fine, whatever. So we'll do all that stuff off screen and then, uh, Mountain gear. Austria and southern Germany are both covered in mountains. It's time for us to train an elite force to deal with said mountains and capability, of course. Uh, Process Show Propaganda Initiative. The Process Show Propaganda, Propaganda Initiative is to help prepare the peoples of our mighty nation for the incoming conflict. Improve General Act Enemies. Yes. We've successfully improved our army. Now we must train our current generals and adapt them to the way our current forces operate. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. As we have more fun with Germany, or at least the uh, North German Confederation eventually, as well as. Uh, have a good time down here. Actually, you know what? Yeah, pretty much. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.